talking with Campbell. Morning. I'm off to Ofonga today to do the 42nd Traverse. And... Sounds so hot. I don't know if I'm going to get back up here. I hope so. No, I think this was right and then left, wasn't it? Right and then left. got away with that it's pretty lucky uh, I bent the front um, little subframe for the fairing uh, bent it back again but um, I think they're, they're pretty notorious for breaking I don't think they're very strong but um, anyway I bent it roughly into shape it's not quite right I'll show you in a second um, you see it just it needs to come up a bit higher uh, the handlebars have not been bent but they're being twisted back in the clamps so I'm just going to unclamp it and then redo that and I've got to put the little windscreeny thing back on. Um, and then I think it'll be alright. seems to be okay. It started up pretty easily. Um, I don't think it was going super fast but it was a little bit nasty. Anyway, you know, for some reason there was a whole lot of gunk on the front of my camera. I thought I'd scratched it up when I crashed but uh, looking at the beginning of that clip it's all weird. Anyway, I've got to get this sorted. Ruben's here now. And um, we're going to, um, apparently there's a hut in here about 30 minutes in. We need to get our asses into gear because it's starting to get dark. Lucky it's rideable and hasn't ruined our trip. Uh, silly boy. Okay, bye. Sweet, so uh, yeah, it was good to have a good sleep here last night. Yeah, I was really glad that um, Ruben knew about this place because uh, after that little crash and stuff, I definitely wanted to sleep on a mattress and stuff. I don't think I would have liked to have been pitching my fly and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but yeah, it's cool. It's got a kitchen and a bunch of different like bunk beds and um, yeah, it's just great. It's very simple, but um, pretty nice that it's here. Pretty comfy night, eh, Ruben? Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, basically, got here last night. Um, mean facilities, like... Yeah, everything. Good food. Mean place. Let's hit the road! As full of vigour as we were heading out that morning, pretty soon we got to our first obstacle. The mud and the ruts that have been mentioned by other riders on Facebook. And once again, my confidence waned. To make sure we could return this way, I took a run at going back up. Nicely done, mate. Easy, I just smashed myself in the face really hard though. Ah. Uh, yeah, front of it. Boom! I'll go up a little bit further and then I'll turn around. Yeah, alright. I'll film you coming back down too. Alright. Yeah, we're in a ride, eh? It's not that hard actually. I had a bit of a moment, but it was alright. I just didn't, I didn't know if I've got enough grip to get thrust. But uh, great with that great big sump guard, eh? Like, you're coming down over stuff, it's like if it's a big drop, you know that you can just go bang and it doesn't matter. Oh, sweet man, awesome. We'll be alright, as long as it's nothing harder than that.
yeah, here we are at uh, almost the other end of the 42nd Traverse. Uh, it's gone quite well. Um, so apart from that crash that I had yesterday, um, it's been really fun. Uh, definitely a couple of skiers sketchy moments and uh, enough adventure for it to be adventure but not so much adventure that it turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Lightweight adventure. Uh, anyway. Here we are at the Blue Hill Cafe having much deserved lunch. Yeah, pretty good. How's that Reuben? Oh mate, I'll tell you, sunny side up. What have we got here? We've got the bacon, we've got the, we've got the uh, potato fritters. Kiwi bird as. Kiwi bird as. I'll give you kiwi bird. So uh, I've ditched my bag, I've hid it in the bush, took some photos of where that was. Hopefully I find it when I come back, otherwise I'll cry because I've got my good camera in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to head back now. Um, probably take it pretty easy because um, we're going against the flow. Hopefully I don't want to come up against a four wheel drive all of a sudden. And um, we'll be a bit tired, but I've taken my bag off so it should be a bit easier for me now. You all good, Ruben? Yeah, no, it's uh, wicked, wicked fun. Um, you know, looking forward to hitting up a few of the um, sloppy bits, and um, yeah, hopefully not get bogged ourselves. Fingers crossed it all goes smoothly. <laughs> See you the other side. That's walking back for video. That's walking backwards and forwards for video clips is pretty tiring. Comes Reuben. Hey, so Reuben's only got the little seven litre tank. Uh, I think I mentioned before, we're gonna siphon some gas out of my tank and fill his up. So we've got this hose, um, you kind of jig it up and down and it should work by capillary action. So we're gonna find out in a second. Okay, so we got it working. I had a bit of a panic there. I thought it was hooked up on the, the sensors and stuff for the fuel tap. Not going too far. It's not exactly easy. Does it keep going? No, it doesn't. Gotta keep jigging it. A uh, lot of dust. Careful with the fuel and the dust, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you come yeah. out real soon. Oh, okay. Yep. How far have you come from? Uh, the snow. Well, True. The other side. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're nearly done. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So you literally, about you go like 300 meters yeah. of this shitty gravel road. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Then you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop filming. That's enough of that. You stop filming now. Stop filming, Roman! Yeah, just go, go. Cool. We made Ooh. it through. Thanks, yeah. Ruben. Ah, cheers, Campbell. That's that cool, man. He, uh, he's a bit faster than me on his KTM, but he uh, made sure he just kept like stopping, check, make sure I was all right. Yep. Um, I was, I was all right all the time, pretty much, but I was just going a lot slower, just bimbling along. Uh, yeah, no, it was absolutely dope. Real fun trip. Highly recommend it. And um, yeah, come down here and do it. Forty two traverse. Yeah. Uh, what a what a luxury. Like what a what a thing to have uh, available to yeah. do. 
yeah. free of charge. Doesn't don't cost you anything to come through. Just yeah. be just be careful, mindful. There, this hikers in here, part of the uh, Tiaroa uh, Trail, um, is through here. And you got cyclists like uh, mountain bikers, and you got dirt bikes and quads and side by sides and hunters and four by fours. So, yeah, especially if you're coming back the other way, uh, they like you to. They prefer you just go in one direction. But if you do go there and back, uh, just take it quite easy and and just make sure you've got plenty of time to stop. Don't go silly because uh, it'll only take one serious accident for all the place to be closed down or ruin it for everyone. But uh, take a jiggle, siphoner, have enough fuel and enough water. You're sweet. Yeah. Ooh, good. Well, uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that vid, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. And uh, subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> subscribe. Share, share, you mongrels. Bloody share, subscribe. Whew. What's the other thing they have to do? A oh, like. Bloody like it. Get a KDM. Honda. <laughs>